Good morning, everybody. I can tell the microphone's working. That's good news. I'd like to welcome you to our annual TAM uh, Young Alums panel. And this year, we did things a little bit differently in terms of both the selection of the young alums. They all happen to be from New York. And in terms of the format. So um, if you've been with us in the past, the format this year will be a little bit different. And I'm going to introduce to you the first three panelists that are going to speak with you. So it's not really a panel any, this year. So our first three alums that are going to speak with you. And they'll be using what we've called the TED Talk format. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Norm. I'm the department chair. And I'm just excited to have these people with us today. We have th two sessions, one here at 10 o'clock, and then we'll have another one at 11 o'clock. Each time, uh, the first time featuring three of our alums, and the second time featuring three different alums. So we hope you can stay for both. So on the um, first set, we have Caitlin Poltzer, who's the Global Social Media Manager for Moxie Hotels and Aloft Hotels, which is part of the Marriott Corporation. Adeline Wolfgang, who's an account executive at The Laundress and Fabriana Watts, who's coordinator of uh, sales operations for AME Children's Sleepwear Global Brands Group. So I will let the first of them come up and start. This is weird. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Caitlin Poltzer. Um, not too long ago, I was sitting right there. Um, watching all these girls present from New York. Um, and it was always the coolest thing ever to me. Um, all I wanted to do was go to New York and live my best life in the best city ever. Um, and this is kind of my life in a nutshell. Um, the first photo I found, the, the most New York City photo I have of myself. Uh, I'm sitting on the Brooklyn Bridge. This was taken at 5 in the morning, um, which is crazy. Um, the second photo is just kind of my crew. These are my best friends. Um, who I met all in New York City a couple years ago, um, and I spend all my time with them. Um, and the, first, the third photo, um, these are my nephews. I am obsessed with them. They're so cute, and they're like the loves of my life. <laughs> um, and I spend so much time with them. Um, and then this bottom row is kind of my career in a nutshell, um, and I will get into that. So I was actually in Dr. Brookshire's class um, when I got the call that um, I accepted a role with L'Oreal, um, working as a social media intern for Kiehl's. Um, the number one question that I get to this day um, is how and why did I get into social media? Um, back in high school, I was actually a YouTuber. Um, I did beauty and fashion videos. Um, and I continued to do it while at Mizzou. Um, but junior year, it got really hard, and I had to like focus on school. Um, so fast forward to applying to jobs. Um, I'm from Chicago originally, um, and I was dating a guy long distance for all throughout college, and I was trying to find a fashion job in Chicago, but they don't really exist on the creative side of things. So I took a step back, <clears throat> and I asked myself, what else do I love? What else am I good at? And I've always loved makeup and beauty, so I started applying to beauty companies. Um, so, hence my start with L'Oreal at um, Kiehl's. So, two weeks after graduation, I moved to New York, started working right away. Um, and then after Kiehl's, I got a job with Starwood Hotels, working as a social media strategist for Weston and Lee Meridian Hotels. And then back in 2016, Marriott International bought Starwood Hotels. So. I went through that whole merger, um, and now I'm a social media manager for Moxie and Aloft Hotels, which is my current role. So I thought this would be fun for you guys to kind of see um, a sneak peek into one of my projects that I do. I can't really give you like a day-to-day -day of my life because it changes literally every single day, um, but this is more fun anyway. So back in April of this year, uh, we opened a Moxie Hotel in Amsterdam, and after I receive like the theme of our party, we're a brand that celebrates openings in really awesome markets. And so once I receive the theme of this party, um, I then create an entire social media strategy from what influencers we choose to work with, what content we will create on site, if we have budget to do that, and how that will look on our channels. 
So for Moxie, we create real-time videos that are captured on site during the actual event, um, which is what you'll see in a second. But this was our third or fourth time kind of testing this strategy, and this was our best produced content to date. So our theme for this party was naughty and nautical. Moxie is a brand um, that celebrates, you know, disruptive. It's disruptive and it breaks the rules and it's a super fun millennial kind of brand. three videos that we created on site. I was in Amsterdam for probably three or four days. Um, and this first video that you saw with the swing, that's actually myself and my manager um, doing it for the gram. Um, and so we created this epic kind of influencer boat party. And so my job was to create and pick all the influencers who got to be on this boat party. Um, and we kind of did it the moxie way. So if you've ever been to Amsterdam, you know, there's like a canal, you can like sit on a boat and like have a glass of wine or whatever it is. So we kind of amped it up and we had a boat party, which is a little bit illegal, um, but we did it anyway. Um, so that was the video that you saw there, which kind of set up on our channels that we're here in Amsterdam, the moxie squad has landed and like get ready for what's to come. And then the second video was kind of coming, the influencers coming off the boat into the party. So, and it was a couple of them like experiencing some of the party as it was happening. And then the third video is just like a sizzle reel of, you know, what happened at the party. Um, so these are the three ones we did on site. The second two we created uh, within two hours of each other between shooting with our videographer, um, editing it and posting it. So these are really long nights, <laughs> I will say. Um, so to relate all of this kind of back to my lesson, which is um, having confidence, um, I know that's so broad, but having being or even acting confident goes such a long way, uh, more than just professionally. New York is the toughest city, um, and if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will, because nobody has time to waste there. Um, when I came up with this real-time video concept um, and, and our influencers and all of that, um, you know, it, my team didn't really understand it. They thought it would be too much time. But because I know I know social media, I understand the influencer world, I immerse myself in it every day, um, in and out of the office. Um, I made them trust me, um, and it was super rocky at times. It was the hardest work I think I've ever done in my life, and this, was, this wasn't the first time I've done this. Um, but the proof is kind of in the results and in the numbers. So I'm always creating these types of presentations and presenting them to my larger team, which is a huge team of people um, under Marriott. There's a lot of people to um, impress. Um, and a lot of them are above me in rank, which is super intimidating. But because I've proven my knowledge and I generally just like work my ass off every single day, I'm not sleeping a lot, um, I realized I'm in this really unique educational role um, and I end up teaching a lot of people about social media. Um, which is not necessarily like their understanding and they didn't grow up with it kind of like how we are. Um, so do your research, immerse yourself in your work or your brand, believe in your expertise and the confidence will come. And that's it. <laughs>